Hello, my name is Dylan Wagner. I will be presenting on the effects of electronic flight bags in flight training on pre-flight skill development and aeronautical decision making. This poster is based on a research study conducted through Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University in Daytona Beach, Florida. The main goal through the study was to evaluate the effects that electronic flight bags were having in flight training with an emphasis on pre-flight development. The study was conducted completely at Embry-Riddle and utilized both an opinion survey as well as a performance survey to provide data. The participants of the survey were all volunteers, but had to fit the parameters of a student pilot or a private pilot with under 100 total flight hours. In today's training environment, it seems like an electronic flight bag is something that is a necessity. Most students who are training with the intention of becoming a pilot will invest in an iPad or some other tablet of their choice to use in place of the traditional paper charts and maps. The aviation-specific applications that pilots can use on these tablets provide readily available information about any pertinent information about the flight to be conducted, as well as allowing virtual storage of regulation booklets, informational pamphlets, and even standard operating procedures for your company, um, but it does this at a price. Applications such as ForeFlight give pilots information about weather and airport conditions, but the information is already decoded from what a traditional source would give. With the lack of exposure to raw data that has not yet been decoded, it is argued that the fundamental skill development in reading and understanding aviation data is lost, or at least not up to the standard should your electronic flight bag encounter some sort of an issue in flight. The study had a total sample size of 40 students that were chosen randomly from an application process. Out of the 40 students, 24 were student pilots and the other 16 were private pilots with an average flight time of 58.1 total hours. For the assessment-based portion of the study, the group was split up randomly into two groups, one group utilizing an electronic flight bag while the other group used traditional paper charts and raw data information. The top chart in the middle column shows the results of the quantitative survey that was based on a pre and post assessment that scored for general flight knowledge, weather understanding, notums, and chart interpretations. The flight knowledge tested if a student could identify characteristics of the flight, such as fuel services provided at an airport, any sort of noise abatement procedures at an airport, uh, the airport hours of operation, as well as traffic pattern awareness and more. The weather knowledge uh, checked the understanding of risk associated with whatever the current weather was at the airport. NOTAMS discussed runway closures, frequencies, uh, temporary flight restrictions in the area. Chart interpretations asked about flight plans as well as different airspaces and any possible restrictions within those airspaces. Um, as shown through this chart, it's pretty clear that performance with an electronic flight bag was higher than that of those who used a traditional source of information, especially within the flight characteristics and NOTAMS section of the assessment. The bottom chart shows the qualitative results of the opinion-based survey where students were asked questions about their comfort level using raw data compared to the electronic flight bag. Question five, I feel that I am more proactive in my pre-flight planning when I use an electronic flight bag, sticks out, um, as roughly 80% of the participants had noted that either they strongly agreed or agreed with this statement. And it's also interesting to note that in question one, I feel confident reading raw weather data without the electronic flight bag illustration shows that students were less confident here with 35% of students saying either they strongly disagreed or disagreed and 33% of students remaining neutral, meaning there weren't a whole lot of students who could feel confident in decoding the weather information with raw data. Overall, the results of this survey seem to conclude that students in general feel moderately comfortable with raw data and paper charts, but they're not confident in their abilities to decode and read the traditional information in comparison to when they have that information already broken down and decoded through the electronic flight bags. It would seem that the introduction to electronic flight bags um, and the various aviation applications that decode, break down, and provide uh, just easier information for us to process has been a helpful improvement to the aviation community. 
but it also seems that there should be an added emphasis on aeronautical decision making and data interpretation without the use of the electronic flight bag. In the world of aviation, there's a lot of redundancies and backups just in case something should fail. Uh, and the same concept really should be applied to a piece of technology that we rely heavily on for navigation and information before the flight, and during the flight, and even after landing. Uh, with the lack of exposure new pilots have to raw data and paper charts, it seems important to either adjust curriculum and or uh, requirements to ensure that uh, should an electronic flight bag fail, pilots are both comfortable and confident in reading sources of information that do not come decoded already. In order for a pilot to make a safe decision during any element of flight, the pilot must have complete confidence and understanding in the information that they have received. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this brief presentation on the effects of electronic flight bags in pre-flighting and aeronautical decision making. I hope that through this presentation you have learned just a little more uh, kind of about the usage of electronic flight bags and how they're changing the way that pilots are receiving their information that relates to the flight. If you would like to read more on this study, it can be found in the Collegiate Aviation Review International, which is volume 37, issue 2.